under Hugo Chavez, stood up for the Palestinian people who are oppressed and stood up against the oppressor Israel. And from the time Venezuela showed that profile, they decided we have to destroy Venezuela. So if they succeed in removing this Venezuelan government and putting this American Zionist puppet in its place, what's going to happen? That Venezuela will now become a friend of Israel. Do you understand that? If you're a Muslim, are you listening to me? Please listen carefully because tomorrow if you continue, if you continue supporting that puppet, I don't want to see your face. No, I don't want to shake hands with you. Because you have left our community and you've gone and joined them. That is what the Quran has said. When Venezuela stood up to support the Palestinians, particularly when Gaza was being destroyed, they expelled the American ambassador. The American decided we got to destroy Venezuela. There are many other reasons. I know, yes, I know. They want the oil. I know that. But the most important one of all is the one which concerns Israel. That is the most important one of all. And Venezuela has been subjected to warfare from the Americans and from the whole Western world, this Judeo-Christian alliance, from that day to this day. Why? Because Venezuela stood up against the oppressor and stood up in support of the oppressed, resisting the oppressor and seeking to liberate the oppressed. And that is why Venezuela is suffering now. And Allah has ordered us in the Quran not, not, not to become friends and allies of the oppressor. And if you choose, I'm pointing my finger to you this morning, if you are in Trinidad and Tobago, if you choose to continue to support the oppressor by seeking to overthrow this government in Venezuela, which has supported the oppressed and stood up against Israel, I want you to know, I don't care friend or foe, if you continue to support that effort to overthrow this government of Venezuela, so you'll have a new government tomorrow which will recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. You'll have a new government in Venezuela tomorrow which will support Israel against the Palestinian people. You'll have a new government in Venezuela tomorrow which will forget the oppressed. Yes, the slaves. <laughs> and support the oppressor, the slave master. Shame on you! That's right, I'm saying it. My name is Imran Hussein, and I'm one of the senior most scholars of Islam in Trinidad at this time. I'm saying, shame on you! You can't be following the religious way of life. You can't say you're a Muslim and support the oppressor. Shame on you!